Hello everyone and welcome to WD18, the Watford fan channel. And I'm just going to give my initial reaction and this is completely off the cuff. I'm in my garden at the minute with my microphone and I'm just going to give my initial reaction to Stephen Berghouse leaving Watford on a permanent transfer to Feyenoord. Um, this is a rumour that has been going on for a, quite a while now since he actually left Feyenoord on loan last season to return to Watford after yeah, he won the Eredivisie with uh, the club. Uh, he's all, he, he was clear that he always wanted to go back. The fans on every single Instagram post wanted Berghaus back. Every single comeback, Stephen. He's loved at the club. I think his, his time at Watford, I mean, it can't really be remembered for much. He didn't really get given an opportunity. Under Flores, Sorry, he was loaned out to final and he's come back and Silva probably just heard from him. And there was a lot of pictures of him with Marco Silva talking and kind of just chatting, which was good to see, and interaction was there between the manager and the player. But it's come to a point where I think he just was not going to give his all for what football club, and he just wanted to go back. That that's what that's how it comes across to me because any player would want to stay at Watford and play in the Premier League. Like that's a boyhood dream for any like foreigner. You ask any foreign player they want to play in England. But it's probably come to a point where Berghaus was enjoying his football more in, in Holland. And that's the thing. And I think I think it is probably the right move for his career. He he just didn't obviously he didn't really get the chance and a lot of fans just wanted him to stay. But if he's not willing to give his all and not doesn't really want to play for Watford, then there's no point forcing him. At at the end of the day, that's the, that's that's the thing, because there's, it's all right keeping a player, but there's no point keeping a player if he's not going to give it 100% every game. At Sarri last season, he didn't take a fancy to him. So it, and he just proved himself out on loan. I mean, the Dutch league, don't get me wrong, is nowhere as near as good as the Premier League. But it's no kind of Sunday league, if you get what I mean. He, he's, he has got quality, and that's why I, I'm really kind of... Once again, not gutted because I'm not not exactly crying, but I, I'm I am a little bit kind of frustrated. Is the word I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about and kind of label Steamer Berghouse. I'm a frustrated fan not to see him flourish in a Watford shirt. And considering we've what we've seen when he's playing for final, what we've seen glimmers at Watford, they're absolutely they're 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 over the moon to have him back. And it kind of just tells a story. They it, they wanted him back. We didn't. He's probably surplus to requirements by the looks of it. Or, I, I think I'd be very interested to see whether Marcus Silva what if he was in his plans. I think if he was, he would not have let him go whatsoever. Leave your comments in the comment section below about the Steven Berghaus transfer. I'll try and do more of these initial reaction videos to transfers of big news um, on, on my microphone. So yeah, let me let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Steven Berghaus move to fine odds. So subscribe to WD18 so you don't miss any Watford FC content and turn channel notifications on so you never miss quick uploads like this and I'll see you in the next video. Want to watch another video? Click the video tab on screen now to watch it in full and don't forget to subscribe. Click on our WD18 logo on the left and hit that red button.